Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my EFL Cup predictions. You know, a few results in the last round going slightly against the odds, you could say. A few results going slightly um, not expected to plan, especially the, the result against uh, Maino. I watched that, Maino went for on penalties. Um, Colchester winning on penalties against Tottenham. You know, so... Quality going through on penalties as well again. So this is really becoming an upsell for cup. But um anyway guys, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get to a thousand subs come at uh, the end of the season. The best way to do that is by sharing my videos, um, letting people know about this channel and let's see if we can do that together and there will be a special video once that thousand subs is reached, whether it's this season or next. It's up to you guys. Um you know It'd be better if we did it this side of the season and that will come clear, um, you know, once a thousand subs reach and get to a special video. But as I said, it's up to you guys to do it. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what to do. You, so, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Burton Albion versus Leicester. Um, Burton Albion beat Bournemouth 2 0 at home in the, pre in the last round. Um, you know, one of the shocks of, you know, the, in like the last round sort of games. Um, Leicester beating Luton 4 0 away from home. And um, so, not one, not one of the shocks in the last round, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Leicester City win. My next one is Crawley versus Colchester. Um, Crawley uh, won all after 90 minutes and then won on penalties. Um, you know, great result for Crawley. Um, very much off the cuff, but, well, you know, Stoke will be playing pretty badly all this season. So, you know, it's not probably one of the biggest surprises of this whole cup competition. Um, Colchester um, beating Tottenham on penalties 4-3 um, you know that is one of the upsets of the competition I believe Harry Kane and Daddy Ali played in that cup tie for Tottenham um, but as far as this result goes I'll go for a 3-0 cr uh, Crawley win my next one is Everton versus Watford Everton beating Sheffield Wednesday away 2 0. Watford beating Swansea at home 2 1. Watford are really struggling this season and um, still bottom of the Premier League. Um, I don't think they've won a game this season um, either. You know, a very disappointing Watford this season. Um, I'm quite amazed how Watford have become my dark horses from last season into this um, but I can't work out what's happened at uh, Watford but obviously um, it is surprising I was expecting Watford you know to hit the ground running and it didn't happen 3-0 uh, defeat to Brighton first game of the season um, and it just seems to go on and on um, Everton Beating Sheffield Wednesday away from home 2 0, and I've already said that. Um, where do you go if you're an Everton fan? Because they're having a bad season as well. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline, and I'll go for a 6 5 Watford win on penalties after 90 minutes. My next one is Manchester City versus Southampton. Manchester City beating Preston 3 0 away from home. Southampton beating their rivals Portsmouth away from home 4 0. Um, both teams um, having a bit of a bad season. Um, you want to hear my Premier League for about my Premier League predictions. But if you know how Southampton's gone this weekend, then obviously you know. Um, Manchester City, on the other hand, you know, 
doing Preston three now away from home, but they're not having the best of seasons. Um, I know that they're still in the top two, but it could be a lot worse. But as far as this result goes, I go for a four nil Manchester City win. My next one is Oxford versus Sunderland. Oxford beating West Ham at home 4 0. That is one of the surprises. Some of them beating Sheffield United away from home 1 0. Oxford, I think, deserve to beat West Ham um, overall. West Ham, I think they went out to Wimbledon last season, um, got out to Oxford this season. You know, where does West Ham, why does West Ham always struggle against the lower league teams? That's only West Ham can answer that question. Um, Sunderland beating Sheffield United 1 0 at home. Yeah, again, a bit of a surprise considering Sunderland are in League One and uh, Sheffield United are in the Premier League. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Sunderland win. My next one is one of the big ones of this um, fourth round. Is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Liverpool beating MK Dons 2 0 away from home is better than bigger margin. Arsenal beating Notch Forest at home 5 0. Um, you know, this is, this is one of the games that we'll be looking forward to. Um, Coming into the week, um, then you've got Liverpool beating MK Dons away, two nights better than, as I said, a little bit more, but never mind. Um, Arsenal doing a great job over Nuts Forest 5 now. Um, I think I expected a little bit more from Nuts Forest, if I'm all honest, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Liverpool win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Wolverhampton. Aston Villa beat a Brighton away from home 3 1. Wolverhampton drawing Reading 1 1 after 90 minutes and winning 4 to a penalty. Wolverhampton was another team that pulled it close in that cup tough as I'm concerned. Everton with Brighton, um, you know, probably a fair result overall, but. It was two um, reserve squads, but as I said, um, Aston Villa probably do just deserve overall. Bit of a you know derby in this one, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a two-one Aston Villa win. My last one for the EFL fourth round um, is Chelsea versus Manchester United. Um, Chelsea. Beating Grimsby Town um, 7 1 at home. Great great job by Chelsea. Man United 1 1 over 90 minutes. And then I think they beat Watchdale 6 5 on penalties, if I'm correct. But that was a bad day for United. Um, I was coming back from one of these games. I was actually listening to that United game on the radio um, coming back. And I actually thought it was a disgrace by United. No disrespect to Watchdale, but Man United calibre, you know, youth, whatever, they should be pushing Watchdale to one side. And Watchdale had an absolute field day at Old Trafford. Just a shame that the result went in United's favour. But, you know, if I was a Watchdale fan, I'd be so chuffed to them with that result. Hold United 1 1 after 90 minutes. You no know, great job by Watchdale. Um, but as I said, just a bit of a shame that United managed to steal it in the penalty shootout. That's the way things go, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 2 Chelsea win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, so a big fuck on if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.